to recall classroom information, the problem is most likely that the information doesn't seem relevant to you. To solve this problem, we must first ask ourselves, what is relevancy? Something that is relevant to you is something that is applicable in your life and is interesting to you. Well, for example, I didn't know how to use Prezi until starting on my capstone presentation. Now that I have learned how to use it, it is my favorite piece of presentation software. You may be asking yourselves, why is relevancy important? When, some, when classroom information is, or when any information is more relevant to you, you find it more interesting and it helps you to remember it more easily. Because the information builds on what you've already learned, it helps form more powerful neurological pathways, making it much easier to recall the information. And because the information is more interesting to you, it makes it much easier to pay attention to the information. Different learning methods achieve different levels of result. Receiving a lecture over a set of information helps you to remember only about 5% of the information. The further you go downwards on the learning pyramid, the more information you remember. Eventually, what, by teaching a group of people the same information, you remember it closer to 90%. Currently, you are receiving only 5%, and I'm receiving 90%. I have some personal experience in relevant education. This is primarily through my formal education benefiting my informal education. I've started learning some programming, and I, the first thing I really realized was this is going to require a lot of algebra. As I've progressed in algebra classes, I have also been able to write more complex scripts. Some of my, some of my earliest memories are creating my own ideas or theories about how the universe works. And, I've, and I find that science classes are an extremely good outlet for this. Many people fall into a trap of believing that there's only one type of education, that being formal education. Formal education is when you go to school, you get grades, you, you graduate, you get a diploma, and that's what you're most likely going to put on your resume. However, you can also pursue your own education. This is called informal education and often receives expen exponential benefits from your, from your formal education. Nothing just falls into your lap, and this is unfortunately not an exception. Two of the bigger, two of the big, biggest hurdles we face today are that what we have currently in education is an extremely well-established system, and and dating back at least a thousand years, and humans are very resistant to change. Another hurdle we face is that some classes are essential for future classes. It's, going, it's not going to be particularly easy to take physics without basic math. Luckily, every challenge has a solution, and these aren't exceptions either. If you're having trouble learning information, try finding a new hobby that is relevant to the information you're learning. If you feel like you're trying to teach someone information and it's, they're not really getting it, try using more hands-on activities. Some relevant hobbies you can. Uh, some relevant hobbies that I've seen are programming and cooking. Programming, as I've said before, uses a lot of algebra, constantly. And cooking, you can you can make you you can become more efficient at cooking by using chemistry by using chemistry. So, are you having trouble focusing during lectures? Are you having trouble remembering information? Try finding other new hobbies, such as writing, so what are you, uh, what are you waiting for? Go out there and help make education more relevant for everyone.